What's going on guys, it's Wolms and today it is actually Father's Day and uh, you know we're going to be doing some Sunday chillin' and um, so I don't really know what time this is going up because I'm doing family stuff obviously and you guys might hear them in the background but um, you know we're going to try and get this uploaded at some point today but uh, a few things I want to talk about, um, you know first thing I want to talk about uh, Father's Day obviously and uh, second thing want to talk about the phase five stuff like that's all pretty interesting and cool and um another thing i want to talk to you guys about picture packs because a lot of people like are really confused as to how you do that and the stuff behind it and uh, i looked about i looked up stuff about it and it's there's a lot that's involved with it um so i figured i'd just explain that to you so first of all father's day Happy Father's Day to everybody, you know, happy Father's Day to all the dudes in Iraq and everything and all the soldiers everywhere everywhere around the world that, you know, make life enjoyable for uh, everybody else, you know, put their lives on the line and, you know, make life good for us and, you know, help us with education, you know, keep us from not being in a dictatorship or something. I don't know. But, um, you know, shout out to those guys. They're, they're awesome. Um, you know, my dad is actually out of town because he's working, but, um, you know, He'll be here next weekend, so we'll we'll celebrate Father's Day a week late. But anyway, so um, <clears throat> second thing, Phase Five. All right, so Phase Five, basically. Um, so let's see who's gone in. Bobo, Nix, Onikarikin, um, Dirty, and who's the? How am I forgetting this? Brio. How could I forget Brio? So those are the four people who've gotten in so far when I make this commentary. And, um, you know, let's not, like, uh, let's see, Dirty, I know he was one of my first choices. I think Dirty and Bobo were some of my first choices. But they weren't, like, I don't know. Like, Dirty was my first choice, but I don't think the, the other people were, like, my second choices, but not my first choices. Like, and a lot of people are just like, dude, why didn't you want Brio to get in? It's like, well, yeah, it'd be cool if Brio got in, but, like... I don't know. I, in my opinion, I think Kiwis is like a lot better of a trick shot. Well, not a lot better of a trick shot. No, no, no. I take that back. So, the reason I like Kiwis is because he's he's hilarious, honestly. And I I don't know. I like the voice, like his voice, and I like the way his videos turn out. And he uploads every single day, and he hits just as many shots as Brio did. So, like, I don't really understand why he's not also equal to Brio, but I don't know. Um,. Anyway, so in my opinion, I, I think Kiwis should have gone in, um, but I think at this point he's not going to win from the actual challenge because, obviously, I think Agony's going to win tomorrow. Uh, but, uh, you know, it'd be nice to, it would have been nice to see him win. And then um, Nikarikin was not my first pick either. I wanted Kitty versus Nikarikin. And then I think Bobo was actually one of my picks. Um, I know if my friend Wilsey would have gone in into the top 20, I would definitely want him to be there instead of Bobo. Just because, uh, I don't know, Wilsey, he's a really nice guy. He's, he's awesome, and I don't know, he puts a lot of work in. He, he had, like, probably one of the best overall responses, like, clip-wise, in my opinion. Like, he just hit so many clips in the second week, and I don't know how he did not make the top 20. That was crazy. But, um... Anyway, those are just my opinions. I mean, you guys may disagree. My opinions are, you know, you guys can possibly change my opinions. It's just, I don't know, that's just sort of how I feel about it right now. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Third thing. So, picture packs. Okay, so a lot of you guys have no idea about, like, picture packs and, like, how clans get it up there. And you're just like, oh, all these clans get it. One second. <sighs> Goodness gracious, I'm so tired. I'm always tired, I don't know why, but a lot of people are just like, oh, uh, it must be pretty easy to get picture packs because all these clans did it, blah, blah, blah. It is not that easy, <laughs> let me put it that way. So, basically, there's there's about two people you can do it through, like, do and get your picture pack on there and sell it through. There's these people called Console Kings, and then there's Major League Gaming. So, Major League Gaming, you're obviously probably not going to be able to do that unless you are in a huge team like for instance that that's how phase and rain got their picture packs up there and that kind of stuff and that's where phase and optic got theirs up there is through mlg 
but um people like console kings and them um it's this other company they put up everybody's like sbs and like i think they put up i think obey has one like i don't know a lot of people have theirs up there uh, so yeah so let me explain it a little bit so one like this is how it works you have to pay like uh, you have to pay consistently for your picture pack to stay up on the marketplace i think or that's what somebody told me like it costs money to keep it up on there and um basically the people console kings they're not going to put your picture pack out there and you can't like mlg is ridiculously hard to get in contact with for this stuff so you kind of have to go through uh console kings but uh <clears throat> They will not put your picture pack up on there unless they know for a fact that you have, um, like, that you have people that will download them. Because if you don't have people, like, to download them, then what's the point of it being up there? And I think it's something with a developer thing where it just wastes, like, a developer's reputation if they put something up there that no one's going to download. Like, even if it costs money, like, even if they pay for it to go up there, it just... I don't know. It's weird. So, basically, SB Travis, like the leader of SB, um, I talked to him about like getting a, uh, a like potentially getting a high picture pack on there, and he said that uh, we actually don't have the like we don't have a big enough fan base for it, which it sucks. But um, you know, at the same time, it's pretty true. We have like, I mean, we have a pretty good fan base, but it's not like good enough, you know. Um, but anyway, I don't know. It's all stupid. There, I mean, you have to like consistently pay. It's there's a lot of BS behind it, and it in the long run, it's really hard to do until unless you're like super big. Um, another thing I might talk about is the uh, the EGL, like Elite Gamers League, or whatever. Like that. Um, those are the people that made phases like current apparel store and all the other owners current apparel store. Um, one thing they're really hard to get partnered with too like i don't even i don't even know but they're they're super hard and to be honest i don't completely know why it's so hard because they're just they're just using the same website template over and over again for people's like stores so like i don't know i don't know why it's so hard like i don't know my this is my take on it i think anybody who is willing to pay money to have it done should be allowed to do it you know it shouldn't be like you have to have X amount of subscribers. And it says you have to have over 25,000 subscribers. But they still denied high for an apparel store. And I guess they denied everybody else too, which is BS. But, um, I don't know. There, there's a lot of random barriers of, like, knownness levels, if that makes sense. I don't know. But, uh... <sighs> I'm so tired. Um, yeah, so... Everything's just really complicated. I don't even, I don't know why it has to be this complicated, but it is. And unfortunately, if we want to make an apparel store, we're going to have to go a different route. And like, while spreadsheet is great, spreadsheet, or spread, no, not spreadsheet, spreadshirt. While spreadshirt is great, they only pay, like, they only give you the payouts from your, uh, from your store, like, every three months so quarterly that's what it's known as um and those are kind of like start stock market terms if anything like quarterly and that kind of stuff and i don't know it's complicated stuff and uh so and plus their like apparel quality is it, it's shit honestly it's so bad it's it, like it's not worth what you pay for like you can get the same for the same price you can get a hoodie from like e egl or whatever that's like so much nicer and it feels better and it doesn't feel like a piece of crap um and yeah so all right guys this has kind of been a uh, sunday chilling um the gameplay in the background was just kind of random so yeah um i know i got really jewed on one tomahawk trick shot that i i know i will slow down there but um i don't know just feeling a feeling like going for a tomahawk trick shot there but uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video uh leave a like if you did um, <sighs> tomorrow I'm going to be uploading a, uh, a hit marker thingy I got because I'm still on my dry streak after like two months. This is honestly bullshit. I think it's like a co-leader coast because, or co-leader coast? No. Curse of being a leader slash co-leader.
Like, if you notice, like, every single leader or co-leader out there that can't hit shots anymore, it's happening to me. It's BS. I keep getting hit markers. And anyway, I don't know. You guys will see that tomorrow. But, uh, yeah. So, use the click to tweet. Uh, use the click to tweet below if you enjoyed. Helps me out a lot because, like, you literally just click it and it, like, basically tweets something from your Twitter. Well, actually, you have to click it, and then you click a button that says tweet because it shows you the message that you're going to be tweeting. Helps me out a lot because then your followers see it, and then I potentially gain new subscribers. <sighs> and then, like, maybe on down the road when I have a bigger fan base, we can just be like, nigga, we made it off the click to tweets. But, um, yeah. All right. Been wasting your time with this one-minute outro, so, uh, you know, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.